What I have in this table is the pot roast that I am making today. The pot roast that I am going to be using is this one, and this is a chuck pot roast. This is beef, and it is sold at $4.47 a pound. And there is just a little 2.8 pounds, a little under 3 pounds here. And it was sold at $12.52 at Walmart. For the vegetables in the pot roast, I like to use carrots, celery, potatoes, and onions. Two cups of beef broth is also required for this dish. Right here is the roast and she's ready to go in the crock pot. As for seasonings, you can use whatever you prefer, but for us I like to use salt, a little bit of accent for flavoring, garlic powder. I also like to use black pepper corns and this one can also be ground up for table pepper and over here, I also like to use the chili powder. And this one, I prefer this brand. It is called Fiesta. And this is actually manufactured right here in New Mexico. As we have planned to attend many festivities this weekend, we decorated our house already. So it's very Christmassy right now. And it is good to have something to eat at any time when you are hungry. The events that we plan to attend is usually held in the weekends. So it is really good if you can go ahead and prepare your meals instead of lining up in a crowded restaurant. This pot roast is going to go into a slow cooker and it will be cooking from eight to 10 hours. So we're gonna be tasting it occasionally to see if it is tender enough. Right here is the roast, and she's ready to go in the crock pot. This roast will go on high temperature for one hour, and then nine hours on the low temperature right here on this crock pot. For homebrewed teas, I place six cups of water into this pot. After the water has boiled, I then just drop the two tea bags and then just stir it in and let it steep on its own. And I will just take the lid and close it. I transfer the tea into a pitcher once it has cooled off and then place it into the refrigerator. While the beef roast is cooking, I'm going to cook a quick chili dinner tonight with this ground beef. This ground meat was purchased at Walmart at about $4.50 a pound. This is the ground beef chuck, which has a lower fat content than the regular ground beef. For seasonings, I use regular salt, accent and this one is just for flavoring you can skip that one and i also utilize garlic powder and of course the chili powder and my favorite is this fiesta brand which i also use in the beef roast that is cooking right now at the crock pot my chili quick recipe basically includes only about four ingredients 
we start here with the ground beef and then I also use regular white onions that is chopped up and then a can of Del Monte stewed tomatoes and you can get whatever you want and I believe this one is about 14.5 ounces and it would be the same for the kidney beans although this one's a little bit more this one is 15.5 so you can use slightly less red kidney beans if you like tonight's dinner is going to be served with this mission brand tortillas I prefer the flour type that is home style you can also get the corn to tortillas if you wish but this is the mission brand which is the soft and fluffy kind this is a very easy recipe first you have to brown the meat first season it about a teaspoon of each of the flavorings or seasonings and then add the onions to it after the ground beef is brown then you can go ahead and add the onions and cook the onions until it is transparent after your onions are cooked then you can go ahead and add your stewed tomatoes in this case, I like my stewed tomatoes to have smaller pieces, so I will dice the big pieces that comes in the can. Bring your ground beef and stewed tomatoes into a boil before adding the beans. I add my beans last, and this kidney bean comes with its own syrup and just put the whole can in. After adding the beans, let it simmer for just a little bit. You can add jalapeno peppers here if you want to make it much more spicier. But we don't care too much for the spices on it. So you can also add it again here. And also add your salt here if it's not salted enough for you. After the mixture has simmered, then you can go ahead and give it a taste and you can add some more spices if you prefer for a make ahead dessert I am going to make fruit cups out of these fruits here, grapes, and then you've got the apples, and then the banana. I'm going to use this jello packet to hold these fruits together. So in essence, it is really a fruit dessert. I've chopped the fruit and filled these cups, and I'm going to top this with the jello as soon as I have it cooked. The jello calls for one cup of boiling water and one cup of cold water thereafter. So here it is, I'm cooking the jello right now. And here is the one cup of cold water. After the fruit cups are filled, it is then covered with a plastic over it, which is a saran wrap. These will go into the refrigerator. 